So if you want to walk around and people know for sure that you lift some weights, you need to be busting up those triceps. What's going on x Factor Fitness team? In today's video, you saw from the title, I'm gonna go ahead and break down my top three exercises for the tricep. If you do not know, the tricep has three heads. You have the long head, the lateral head, and the medial head. So when you're training your triceps, what you wanna make sure is that you're targeting all three of these heads. Now there are specific exercises that may target a specific head a little more than the other, but in these three exercises, which is why I call them the best, is simply because they are gonna target all three heads. Now the reason why this video is so important is because because triceps actually play a big part in your daily lifestyle. Whether you're pushing the door, pushing the barbell, pushing anything, your triceps are the force. So it is actually true that if your triceps are stronger, you will be strong in all of your other lifts. And for all of my people who love to walk around looking like you actually lift weights, you wanna make sure you build some big arms, mainly your triceps, because when you put on a t-shirt, that sleeve is hugging on your arm. So I'm not gonna drag on this intro, let's go ahead and move to the first exercise. All right, so let's go ahead and kick off the first exercise with the tricep kickbacks. These are actually an easier movement to do whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced lifter. I'm sure you've probably seen these done and you normally see them done with either a cable or a dumbbell. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is demonstrate the correct form because although it's a very effective exercise, I'm sure a lot of folks are out there doing it incorrectly, which is why it hurts and or they're not even getting the right results. And then I'm even gonna throw in a twist at the end of it to show you how to really blow up those triceps. So what you wanna do is either find you a bench or something that you can lean on. The arm that is not moving the weight is gonna be rested on top of whatever you decide to rest on. Now what I like to do is kick one foot back and the problem is a lot of people either have their arms down here doing something like this, have their arms too high up. What you wanna do is try to visualize where your arm is, get some mind muscle connection in and really try to keep your arm locked in and keep your tricep parallel with the ground. And all you're simply doing is kicking back. You can hold at the top for a few, but make sure you're keeping that tricep locked in. Only thing that should be moving is your forearm. Now, after you're done with that, here's the twist. What you can do is grab a cable or even a resistance band if you're at home and keep repping out, keep pumping blood into the tricep. Same motion. I know a lot of you out there may not have dumbbells at home, so you can just use resistance bands. But the goal for your triceps is to make sure that you are forcing as much blood into your tricep as you possibly can. This is a smaller body part, which means we wanna give it some more volume. So I say 12 to 15 rep range is ideal. All right, let's move to the next exercise. All right, so the next exercise we come to is going to be tricep extensions. We're gonna do them over the head. Now there's a few different variations that you can take when you're doing the tricep extension. The variation that I like to use is the variation where I'm keeping my bicep right beside my ear and I'm going straight up. Let me go ahead and demonstrate it. So I like to sit on the bench, but you can definitely stand up and do these. When you stand up, you will engage the core a bit more. So if you wanna eliminate worrying about your core stabilization, focus on sitting down. So with your arms straight in the air, all you really wanna do is keep your biceps close to your ear, keep your elbows pointed forward, and you just wanna drop. When you lower your dumbbell, that is when your tricep is getting stretched. The contraction is at the top. Notice how the full tricep is working. Try your best to keep your biceps by your ear, like I said, you wanna keep everything locked in. Just like the tricep kickbacks, the only thing that should be moving are your forearms. I'll go ahead and show you guys the standing variation, but it's pretty much the same. But again, your core is gonna be fully engaged when you stand. Arms straight out, biceps by your ear, stretching those triceps at the bottom, keeping your elbows pointed forward. You guys are the real MVPs if you are still locked in. I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Join the X-Factor Fitness team. It costs you nothing. All I want you to do is stay locked in on this channel so you can get these workout tips, these exercise tips, and of course, some nutrition tips. We need to make sure we're taking our physiques to the next level so we need to be efficient in all areas. Not just in the gym, but in the kitchen as well. Now it's time for me to break you guys off with the top tricep exercise. 
There is no way I was leaving this video without giving you guys the push-up variation. The diamond push-up is one of the ultimate tricep exercises because it targets all heads. You can do it anywhere, anytime. You don't need any weight. This is the best exercise for anybody. It's not hard to set up, but it can be a little difficult depending on your mobility. So let me go ahead and break down how it's done. I want you guys to form a diamond right here. Form a diamond or a spade, whatever you want to call it. Lock that in on the ground. You raise up just like a regular push-up. Elbow should be out a bit, not all the way out, but you want them out a bit. You don't want them locked in like this. Keep your core tight, keeping that torso tight. You're just gonna drop down and push up. <sighs> Try to go as low as you can. Notice how the triceps are bussing out. You'll see a lot of cave in like this when you get down to the bottom. Try to avoid too much of that. But really contract at the top. For the beginners out there, go ahead and drop to your knees. It's okay. I'm not against anybody doing push-ups on your knees. Drop to your knees if you need to. Look at that, triceps still engaged. Best tricep exercise we got. All right, X-Factor Fitness team, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The top three tricep exercises that you should be doing in any of your arm workouts. You can even throw these three exercises at the end of any workout. It does not have to be an arm day. It could be any day of the week, any time that you are really trying to grow your triceps. So if you wanna walk around and people know for sure that you lift some weights, you need to be busting up those triceps, all right? Hey, but that's all I got for you guys today. If you aren't subscribed, I want you to go ahead and subscribe right now. Check out some of my other exercise tutorials right here. I have a lot of exercises where I'm breaking down how you should be actually performing them with great form. There's no need to be doing exercises if you do not have the correct form, all right? Let's keep getting better. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.